in the studio again, out in the forest. It's raining, but it's all beautiful. And I'm working some more on this, which is the anerometer controlled solar tree hanging jellyfish arpeggio spectrum sculpture. It's designed to hang in trees and it plays big fat bleeps with a crescendo of the big flat bleeps in storms. That's it. And I've been drawing loads and loads and loads of these in different ways. Uh, anerometer at the top, uh, solar panel, Arduino or some similar microcontroller underneath, and speakers. In this instance, what I'm drawing is actually piezo transducers to play my bleeps. So we've got bleeps set up. I'm working on the workbench. i am got my laptop plugged in. I've got a small Arduino here set up just as a test, writing test code. And now I want to start assembling with you know, somewhere in the racks of stuff. I know I've got boxes and boxes of piezo transducers um, from other projects. If you're ever in doubt, get contact mics and mic up your washing machine or your dishwasher run it through a mixing desk and loads of outboard effects, it can be quite wild. Um, actually, maybe I'll do that again. I'll do a video about that. That'd be kind of nice. And I'll do the same with the truck because these cars sound awesome. Um, so we're building, exploring the shape. You know, this is where it starts. Let's see where it ends up. We have the code um, that goes through and iterates through three notes, E4, C4, G4, uh, which is actually from Frankie Knuckles. And if I plug this in, the code is in there, I've just got a really simple um, uh, power and then we're taking pin 8 which is playing a, a square wave out of this tiny little speaker. We plug it in, power it up and the code will execute. And honestly, there you have it. It plays this tiny little arpeggio pattern of fat bleeps. And the code that I've got running here is doing three different interlinked things. So we've got like a higher stochastic function going on where I'm altering note length, cadence or tempo, and the gap between notes. So we get this combination of notes getting longer and shorter and the gaps between the firing of the on note getting longer and shorter and the overall tempo getting longer and shorter. And these three elements are all on different length loops. So we get this huge amount of variation that it, it takes about 45 minutes to go through all the permutations um, with the parameters that I've set up. And I'll, I'll walk through the code, but it's relatively straightforward with these three loops running inside each other, firing this thing. And I've been sitting with this for weeks, literally sitting for, hours at a time listening and getting lost in this uh, very, very spectrum kind of rolling, pushing loop. And the sound's not quite right, but I want to see what happens when we put piezo transducers on it. And then also there's some different libraries where I can get different kind of waves. And I think I want a sawtooth with a little bit of filtering, but we'll see. I kind of like it dirty and I want to hang it out at night and see what it sounds like, because it's supposed to work at night in trees, in the forest, 
just echoing through a little bit. So we'll see, we're gonna work on that today, but this is our start point. Let's take a trip off through all the boxes of stuff and somewhere in here, I know I have the old cabling loom from wiring up uh, a washing machine to make music. Uh, so this is a good start. give us a start. So doing a bunch of digging, um, about two. There's about 20 in there somewhere, but this is what we've, what we've got. It's, um, it's two wafers of metal separated with a ceramic membrane, I think. So you can use it as a kind of like a vibration sensor, or if you fire power at it, it'll vibrate. So in lots and lots of tiny little handheld games, this is what they used to use as speakers because super cheap, super reliable. Um, so I'm gonna see what noise I can get out of it by playing the arpeggios out of the Arduino instead of this little uh, kind of diaphragm speaker that we've got. And we'll see what happens.
yeah, it works. It's very, very quiet. Just for comparison, I'm going to uh, chuck back in an earth. So that's the speaker. And this is the So we're getting a bit of loss on this. I'm going to try the other one and see whether that's any happier. They're a little old, as you can see, they're a little corroded. My expectation is they're going to be a bit louder than this, but let's see what we got. Well, we got something, but it ain't very loud. Yes, it works, and it might be that I can get it on the sounding board and get it to resonate, um, you know, the way that you get the little windy mini uh, pianos do. They're very, very quiet, but if you hang them on a piece of metal, suddenly they get very loud. So we're going to play around a little bit more and see what we get. But this kind of deal of the, the hanging stuff, you know, you can see, you can see where I'm going with that. Maybe this will help. That's interesting. So I've got a coffee can. So we're getting directional vibration. That's much better. Getting a just holding that on. Okay. That's groovy. Now, what I want to see is, can I drive multiple ones? So, two piezos. Let's fire it up. Let's see if I can find more coffee cans. One thing I had wondered about, we've got, We've got our Arduino. We've got multiple piezos running, but they're all running off one pin. So theoretically, we're half in the voltage. We're using our coffee cans. That's a good coffee. Um, fair trade, please, and send me some or something. Um, got the coffee cans, and they're working as resonators, which is helping a lot. But the drawing that I kept coming back to, initially it was hanging speakers and all sorts, and I quite like the idea of exploring the piezos, is that sort of theoretically each different piezo would fire an individual note. So it would spatialize the arpeggios, and I could use them to run lots of different arpeggios. And perhaps there would be LEDs on so you could see which piezo was firing which arpeggio. So I think I'm going to play with the code and wire the uh, piezos to different pins 
So I can then direct in the code different notes to different piezos, so they'll fire individually, and perhaps we're getting um, multiple voltage because we'll get the voltage off each pin firing rather than half in the voltage because they're sharing a pin, I think. Let's give it a go and see what happens. So I'm going to wire one. I've got one piezo coming to pin eight. And I'm going to take another one off pin nine and then just combine them with a common ground. So pin eight and pin nine, common ground. Right, so really simple addition. All I've done is I've doubled up part of the code where I'm firing the notes to the Arduino or to the pins and I'm saying, make a tone on pin eight and then make exactly the same tone on pin nine. So they should play in parallel. Let me see if we get any more volume from it. Let's uh, plug the Arduino in. We have the volume there now, which you can barely hear. Upload this to the Arduino. So I have an issue with the tone library that is not wanting to play uh, in a kind of polyphonic sense. So I think what I'm going to do is rather than get them to play in power, which is clearly not working, um, I'm going to oscillate and play alternating notes between the two. So we get do 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 and then see what happens. So I'm going to set up a channel and just oscillate the channel number saying play a note on a particular channel being whichever pin I want. Cool. So this will just oscillate between the two channels and I should be able to hear the sound moving backwards and forwards between the two. Awesome. So if we come down super close, we can hear. So we have our two coffee cans which are amplifying a little bit. And if I just pull the pins on the Arduino, and I'm getting every other note, and then back to the full arpeggio, pull the other pin, so with a little bit of work, with a little bit of work with a coffee can resonators and some more. I can address each of the piezas individually, which is great. I could do it with speakers and I think I'm maybe going to do some more experiments with speakers and see where we get to. But it's starting to do, because farmer's going to farm. Uh, so I'm going to explore maybe some more speakers and I want to try some speaker sizes. I don't want to start getting into using lots of amplifiers and things like that. I like that it's maybe really small, and this could be kind of interesting that the sound becomes very directional um, rather than just noise pollution in the forest. So I'm going to start mocking this up and hopefully find or maybe order some more piezos and uh, start to build it. And the other thing I've got to work on, of course, is the solar power. I've got an anerometer on order, which will allow me to give input into tempo and volume, which is one of the things I want to explore. And we're just going to keep going and see what happens. So that's what we're up to.